welcome to my bridal and wedding haul. I am so excited to show you all the things that I've been picking up for our special day. This video is kindly sponsored by Domatica, but more on them in a bit. If you're new, hi, I'm Brogan. I'm a 2024 bride-to-be getting married to my fiance Benji in February. We are so excited. We're doing things a little unconventionally. We're actually flying to New Zealand, getting on board a cruise ship, sailing all the way back to the UK. And while we're on a sea day in Australia, we'll be getting married legally on board where the captain is doing the ceremony, just the two of us. And then when we come home, we'll be having a party to celebrate with our friends and family. We have made a whole video on what we're doing. In case you haven't seen that, I will leave it up on the cards and below. But today I thought I'd show you all the things that I've been buying, which has been such a joy preparing for our wedding day and all the bride wifey things has just had me so excited. I've been reading bridal magazines. I've been watching videos. And even if you're not a bride-to-be or you're already married, I think you'll enjoy seeing all the things I've been picking up for myself. We've got shoes, we've got clothing, we've got some just like cute accessories, special things like my perfume and my jewellery. I have shown some of these things as I've been buying and picking them up in some of my home vlogs, but today I'm going to just gather it all together. Some of these things you haven't seen yet as well. So if you're not already, please hit subscribe so you don't miss the actual wedding and the world cruise and everything we'll be documenting and sharing. And a big part of my wedding day and prepping for it has actually been my skincare. I was clueless about skincare. I really felt a bit lost with my routine, what I should and shouldn't be using. My skin was really dry, very unhappy. I had quite a lot of redness and I had some fine lines forming and I just felt like I didn't know where to turn and what to do. And then I discovered Dermatica, which is an incredible personalized treatment tailored exactly for what your skin needs. And the dermatology team will work with you where you send before and after pictures and tell them what you want and they can tailor and tweak it and help you with your skincare journey. Now I've been using Dermatica for over six months now and I have noticed a huge difference. My skin has never felt better using the personalized formula and treatment and having that in my routine every night. And so it made total sense that I start transitioning into using some of the other products as well as your monthly treatment that you can get delivered straight to your door. They also sell an incredible range of skincare products. And I thought I'd talk to you about some of my favorites from the range today because they have been amazing for my skin. My skin's never felt so clear, so glowy. I've had hundreds of compliments. Like so many of you tell me your skin looks fantastic and I swear to you, it is this. Dermatica really has genuinely changed my life. So let me show you some of the products I've been enjoying. So obviously my personalized formula I use at night, but to start my skincare routine in the morning, I always use a cleanser. They have a few different ones. So you can get whatever works for you. I'm actually gonna try the Balancing Glycerin gel cleanser. I've really enjoyed the caring cream one, I think it is, which is like a gel to oil to milk consistency. It's amazing. And I just love the packaging. The pump is so lovely. Then I use a moisturizer and I have been using the Soothing Centella gel moisturizer, which is again, so lovely. But I also have the Nourishing Ceramide and Peptide moisturizer, which I think is a little bit of a richer cream. This one's very light, but I thought this would be perfect for going into winter, dry months. I also have just recently picked up the Hydrating Hydroluric Acid and Vitamin B5 Serum. I've not tried this yet, but I've heard really good things about this. So I might include this into my routine now. This I've had for about a month and I love it. This is the Vitamin C. This has had a lot of hype. It's meant to help with anti-aging, reducing fine lines and things. And it will take about six weeks to see the effect. So I'm nearly there and I am noticing it and I really enjoy it in my routine. And of course, last but not least, the SPF. I absolutely love their SPF. In fact, so much so that I've got two extra bottles ready to go for when we go on our world cruise. Most of the time you need one or two pumps and it just distributes the absolute perfect amount. And the last one I just had to mention because I've loved this for a while now, this is their Restoring Ceramide Skin Balm for all skin types. But if you're experiencing extreme dryness at all, like my lips, loads of you know that this time of year, my lips look so dry and cracked. And luckily I have this to the rescue now. I've actually got a couple of exclusive discount codes for you. So if you're planning on spending more than 50 pounds, you can actually get 30% off using my code BTBF30, which is for black 
Black Friday. I also have another code where if you spend over £100, you can get 55% off, so I'll leave all the details below for you. And if you're in the US, I've got a US link too, so you don't have to miss out and get those savings as well. Big thank you to Domatica for those discounts and for helping me have beautiful, clear skin ahead of my wedding day. Let's crack on with the products, where shall I start? The first product I wanted to show you, I bought on a bit of a whim, but I saw it on Instagram and I thought, oh, that'll be so cute uh, on the cruise, maybe the day before. But I bought a bridal sash. I actually bought a cheap one from Primark. I think it's lying around in a box somewhere, I'll find it. Um, but this is beautiful. This is a pearl, lovely sash that says wifey to be. And I got this from a company called For the Love of Pearls. They have some really gorgeous bridal things but this sash was crazy expensive it was like 58 pounds but they have like a seconds in perfect one that was available for 15 pounds and really you can't tell the only imperfection is that there's like some slight pulling where i don't know if it's the sewing machine or what you really can't even tell on camera but that's why they've marked it down so heavily but as it's just a sash it's not like i'm wearing it on my actual wedding day it's just meant to be a bit of fun i didn't really want to spend more than that the quality of this is so lovely i'll leave it linked below it's such a nice sash and i can pass this on to my girlfriends that are getting married as well they can all have it after me but yeah it says wifey to be and it came in a cute little drawstring bag i'm gonna carry on with clothing things I think next. So the first thing I picked up was actually from Bista Village and I got this from Sweaty Betty and it, as you can see it's a tracksuit set. This is their sand wash cuffed trouser and the sand wash crew neck sweatshirt. I wish you could feel these. They are unbelievably soft. I have never actually owned anything like it. Super, super smooth. Bought these for the plane. I did originally want like cream or white, but super impractical. So when I saw this like baby pink blush color, I thought this is kind of bridal. We we're flying all the way to New Zealand. It's gonna take like 24 hours. Because I got them in Bista Village, I got quite a good discount. So I'm not sure if they're available on the website or if they're discontinued. But if you're looking for like a lovely luxury travel thing, if you're getting married abroad, then I really recommend Sweaty Betty. So nice. Next thing I bought, which I could wear instead of the pink jumper on the plane or just round on the cruise ship. This was one of the first brands I got served 100 ads for when I got engaged. They're a company called Six Stories. I love their stuff. They specialize specialize in wedding bridal related items and accessories and I really wanted this jumper so it's one of their sort of three quarter length zip I got the beige and it pulls at the bottom but obviously the best thing is that on the back it says wifey now they do have a bride one but I personally just wanted more wifey things because obviously I'm only a bride for one day and I'm a wife for life <laughs> Isn't that just adorable? I'll leave links to all these things below. Um, but I got this in an extra large. I got the tracksuit in a large sweaty Betty. And yeah, I really am excited to wear this. I've had this for a while. I think about a year I've owned that. <laughs> Another item I bought from Six Stories, again in an extra large, was the robe. Now originally I bought a silky robe in my head. I had this vision for like a silk robe, but it just falls apart. Like it just, you tie it up and it just, the silk slides off of me and doesn't stay tied up. And it just wasn't working. So I wanted something that I could wear throughout the whole cruise and again I went for wifey and I like this because it's sort of a towel material so if we'll see when you get out the shower it's a bit nicer to put on and I love the fact it says wifey so in the morning you can imagine wearing this with a glass of champagne in my hand looking at my wedding dress I can just see the vision for the pictures but also I can wear this for the whole cruise like it's actually a practical item that I am going to need and because it's light and not too thick it's going to work in all those countries that we're going to in like Southeast Asia and obviously Australia summertime it's gonna be hot speaking of like the morning of my dressing gown I also have pajamas and originally I bought these from Primark they were 15 pound for the set but I brought them home and I nearly took them back because they aren't very nice quality like I love Primark I love Primark but because they're this sort of obviously white they're quite see-through and they didn't feel very luxury, but I just love them and I knew that I was worth picking them up because I 
thought I'd pack them anyway. It says bride on the back. It just didn't feel quite it. I don't know, I think for my wedding day, I'm going for like luxe and special and they, they just don't feel it. I was too late to return them. So I can always like gift them to a friend or I can just take both. But I ended up finding a better pair from Chelsea Piers. I love their pajamas anyway. They have beautiful, beautiful pajamas. Christmas ones are amazing, by the way. This is the top. It's like a nice strappy top. So I'm not gonna be too hot getting ready in the morning. I love the little frilly detail on the sleeves and then it has a pair of shorts too and I just thought these would be nicer to get ready in they're much thicker and better quality and obviously you do pay like twice the price so uh, they're all a bit creased at the moment where I've obviously had them in a box for so long but I just liked these a bit better with my dressing gown we'll carry on with the theme I also picked up these this is one of the first things I bought in home bargains it says team bride and they are a pair of fluffy slippers and I liked them because they are like open toe nice and light and they're squishy and just I don't know I just thought they'd be really nice to wear in the morning I'm gonna be fully bridal out you know with the dressing gown and pajamas and now the slippers these were obviously only home bargains so they were pretty cheap I can't imagine they were more than like a fiver this was the other sash that I had from Primark which again like it doesn't matter if I don't wear it because I will have friends that will wear it or want it that says bride to be on it i also have a bridal clip from primark again that can go in my hair in the morning when i'm getting ready i'm not having a hen do but i did get the big white bow with the veil just for fun really at the very beginning when I got engaged this was from Primark very cute could be fun to wear the day before I think I'm actually going to go for afternoon tea with some of the ladies on board that I've made friends with and it's, it could be fun to take this so I think I might still have it but I also have the mini ears so these are the Disney fairy tale wedding ones and I got these I think from shop Disney ages ago way before I was engaged because I knew that one day I would want to wear them. We are going to be visiting Hong Kong Disneyland. I need to cut these tags out, but I just thought I had to wear these, didn't I? I have to wear them. So they're going to be coming with me for that one day in Hong Kong. <laughs> two days, actually, two days. I also picked up this from TK Maxx. I just thought this was a gorgeous bow, not for my wedding day, but like around the days, the week of, the week after. I thought it'd be so nice to have little accessories like this. The white, the pearls, it's just become my whole aesthetic. And I just think at the back, you can imagine it. I just thought it was really nice. It was $14.99. The quality is gorgeous. And it's by a company called Sunday State. The only other thing to show you that was from Primark, I bought these ages ago. I really loved them. I thought they were a bit bridal. Not only obviously be for bride, but for brogan. And I really liked the pearls. I think I'm drawn to, if it's got pearls and it's white or cream or beige, then I'm in, I'm sold. Um, but the little pouch was only three pound and the bigger one was five pounds. I just thought they were so lovely to put my accessories in, to organize some of these things. Yeah, bridal, lovely, love them. <laughs> one more pouch because I had to have this one. I actually really love Katie Loxton. They are one of my favorite brands for these kind of little pouches. I've bought my friends them before and this is a total copy from Home Bargains just called a cosmetic bag and it's very thin and flat but of course it says bride on it and what am I going to put in here I don't know absolutely no idea can you blame me can you really blame me I had to have that for my bag on our wedding day I haven't fully decided because I don't really think I'm going to need one we're on a cruise ship we're not far to the room I'm only going to really have my phone I guess but and maybe a lipstick this bag I actually have had for about four or five years now it was originally from Oliver Boners and I've taken this to weddings myself and it's got a nice strap I don't really want a bag on my arm in photos like I don't envision a bag it's just more for practical ways that I can sort of take it with me to the ceremony room and walking around probably just end up holding it like this actually but yeah this is not new but I thought I'd show you while we were doing accessories let's move on to my hair piece now I wasn't going to originally show you this because I wanted to keep some things a surprise but you're not going to see my dress yet and it will all come together so I thought I'd show you in this video so this is from the bobby pin I actually bought this in the sale last year so they normally do black friday offers and they do new year's offers too now these kind of things can be really expensive but like I said I got it in the sale I think it was still about 70 pounds it was definitely not cheap the minute i saw it i fell in love with it look at the details it's so beautiful so obviously my plan is to have my hair half up 
half down. It's going to be like nice loose waves and this is going to sit hopefully like so but I have to work with the hairstylist and hairdressers on board and see if they can um, make it look beautiful but I think it's going to go in my hair. It's one of those things I'm like I've got it. I'm pretty confident it's what I want to wear on the actual day. Love them. Definitely worth checking out if you're a bride to be. They're beautiful accessories. The next thing to show you is a pair of uh, underwear pants that I bought from Pour Moi and I don't need a bra with my dress but I obviously need a pair of pants and I don't want to be uncomfortable on the day. I just wanted something silky and pretty and something that would just yeah be comfy all day and easy for me to take on and off when I need the bathroom because I'm not going to have any bridesmaids or anyone to help me so when I need to go to the loo it might be a challenge <laughs> with my dress. So with that in mind I bought these and they are pink, high-waisted, silky, beautiful. They've got like really lovely details on them like the little bow and then on the back it's got like this pretty lace and I love the matching lace along the bottom of the leg part here. Isn't that so pretty? I'm not sure if these are bridal ones but I thought that they would be perfect to wear on the day. I don't know why I feel the need to justify that they're massive big high-waisted pants but like I think because it's a wedding day there's this immediate assumption that you wear like a thong or something slinky and sexy and to me this is sexy like I think this is beautiful and it looks really lovely on my body and it's comfy so it ticks the boxes so I wasn't going to show you because I was like mm, I don't know if people are going to think these are like ugly pants on my wedding day but I think they're gorgeous so <laughs> each to their own I guess next I want to show you my shoes I've already shown these a few times so some of you would have already seen these but these are my wedding shoes they are by Charlotte Mills these again were one of the first things I bought before my dress actually and they had a pop-up in London and my friend Charlie and I went and tried a few on. Now when I was shopping for wedding shoes I originally thought I wanted something similar to what I would wear with a normal dress so I like an open toe, I don't like too much of a heel, thought that's exactly the kind of thing I wanted but then when I tried them on I didn't like my toes just poking out over the dress so the bridal consultant that helped me with the shoes was really lovely and she suggested going for these and I've loved them every time I've tried on my dress which has been I think I've put my dress on about four times five times now and I've always tried it on with the shoes and these have been perfect so they're called Jazzy Pearl they have so many I'd really recommend Charlotte Mills if you want some like special bridal shoes so actually on the bottom of the shoe it has the something old something new something borrowed something blue and a silver sixpence in her shoe and literally they have real silver sixpence in the bottom built in which I think is such an amazing touch. The heel is also not too big and it's got a little strap, which just helps give me that extra support. Originally, I thought I wouldn't wear heels because you're really not gonna even see them, but I think having the height, wearing the heels, putting them on just makes me feel a little bit more put together and I'm really not gonna be wearing them all that long, but for me, nice shoes, special shoes, um, was a big part of it, and like I said, every time I've put them on, I've loved them. Next things to show you, I bought from Etsy, and this is a company called The Wire Boutique, uh, by Hayley. I do follow her on Instagram, and I think she's having a baby, might be going on maternity leave, so I'm not sure if the shop is currently closed, but I'll leave it linked below anyway, because this is where I bought my wedding dress hanger. I always wanted one of these. Originally I was actually going to buy a plain white hanger and I was going to use my Cricut machine and write on the sides and I still could do that, put the wedding date on there but when I saw this I just knew it was perfect so obviously my new surname is going to be Lever. It's so cute! Mrs Lever and I went for the pink bow on the top. My dress is actually currently with the bridal shop. I'm actually having a few adjustments made to it so I can't put the dress on it right now but I thought I'd show you because it's so lovely. Again this is going to have to go in hand luggage because I don't trust that in my main case but Mrs Lever. I can't believe I'm gonna be Mrs. Lever. <laughs> also, fun fact, Tate is my middle name. So I'll be Brogan Tate Lever and I won't be changing any of my names. I'm still gonna go by Brogan Tate online, but you guys all know that my real name is actually gonna be Lever. Also from this company, I bought us a cake topper. We are gonna have a very small one tier cake very small cake just so we can do the cut in the cake and have that experience and who doesn't want cake on a special day like obviously I want cake uh, so I did buy the cake topper and she's done it as two so it says Mr and Mrs and then Lever obviously I'm hoping that the chef baker whoever makes our cake 
can just pop these on for us. We also have been on the hunt for a tiny little cocker spaniel that we can put on the side to represent Bonnie. Haven't quite found one that I like yet, but like a plastic small version that looks like her. So if anyone knows where I can get something like that, let me know. Mostly I just wanted something very simple and plain. Another thing I've bought that hasn't arrived yet is some bunting that I'm gonna put up in the room and it just says Mr. and Mrs. But it hasn't arrived, it's coming from Canada because I got it in like a navy blue with anchors on it, which I thought was kind of apt and perfect. But yeah, it hasn't arrived. It's been held up at customs for some reason and it's taking a long time. So I thought it arrived before this video, but sadly not. Another little accessory, but this one is just for like generally on the cruise uh, for the evenings as a little clutch. I got this from Boohoo and obviously it's a little wifey bag. I just thought this was so nice and very holiday. It's not the most practical. Can probably fit a pack of cards my phone and a lipstick in there, maybe the room key, but I just thought it was really lovely. It was in the sale, so I'll leave it linked if it's still available. It makes me excited. I'm only gonna be able to do this once in my life, so of course I'm getting all the like cute bits. This next item I bought on Amazon, and it is a little bulky to be carrying all the way to New Zealand, but we are able to send one, so we can actually send two, but we're gonna send one suitcase on board on the ship in Southampton when it leaves and then see it in our cabin when we get to New Zealand. So in that case, we're gonna have things like shoes and wedding and bridal items that we don't wanna take all the way to New Zealand on the plane. So this is gonna be one of those ones I'm gonna put in and keep it boxed up like this, but this is basically a flower press. And the reason I got this is because I do want to try and preserve my bouquet. I'm having real flowers. I did look at the option to have silk fake flowers because they are really realistic now. I would never rule it out because they are beautiful, but just a bit impractical for me when there's a florist on board the ship. I figured that I'll just have real flowers, work with them to pick what I want and see what's actually available to get. It's going to be a bit of a surprise, I think, uh, on the day I actually get, but I know they'll do an amazing job. And I want to be able to preserve a little bit and I want to create one of those beautiful art pieces that's in like a clear frame frame like the glass so you can see the petals. I thought it would also be kind of a nice activity for us to do on one of the sea days so yeah it's basically a kit for pressing flowers there's not much to it you can see what I mean. Before I move on to a couple of the final little like beauty and details I did have this item to show you which I bought for our wedding party but I saw this on Zara and I just thought it was so fun. It's obviously an envelope Thing for cards if people want to give us wedding cards and I liked that it, it was this postcard and it was Disney. It really just ticks those boxes. We love Disney and we would have just come back from traveling and so yeah we can oh, store people's lovely wedding cards in this. I thought that was so nice. We can actually keep them in it afterwards as well and I might even crick it on here like Brogan and Benji World Cruise, the dates etc. It's a very random item for Zara but yeah I really like it. Some more little details now. So we're allowed confetti but it has to be biodegradable which is absolutely fair enough that's what we, I'd want anyway. I know that it's just going to be the two of us. I just wanted possibly one photo with confetti in the air. So I just ordered some samples from a company called Dolls Confetti. I got two because I think that's gonna be the exact amount we're gonna need. It's very light, very thin and easy to pack, not in a chunky box and there's not excessive amounts of it. This is also their flutterful confetti. So I watched a video on Instagram where basically once you throw it up, it falls in this really beautiful soft, way. I don't know, we'll see, but I do have confetti. If you are my mother, my mother-in-law or my father-in-law, please skip along a few minutes because this is going to spoil a surprise, but I really want to show anyone that's watching because I have been thinking a little bit about how we incorporate our family into the day itself because they're not going to be with us the day we get married. And so I thought it'd be really lovely to maybe get them like a bottle of champagne so they can raise a glass. It's actually going to be really early in the morning for them like we'll, we'll, we'll be done and dusted basically because Australia's different time zone <laughs> but I also wanted to do cards for them all to open so originally I got my mum this one that says to my mum on my wedding day and I got this from Etsy but then I also saw that they did a father-in-law one too so I thought that'd be quite nice to write to his dad and then obviously it made total sense that I got his mum one but I wanted the one for his mum to really have beautiful words about Benj and I found this on Etsy. I'm not going to read all the words, you can pause it if you want, I'll leave it linked but it's a beautiful poem 
and the words just spoke to me. I just thought they were so lovely. It says to my future mother-in-law. So I'm gonna write each of them a card that they can open on the day and so they feel a little bit connected to us and yeah I just thought that was a nice little touch to do I've been thinking about how we incorporate them some of you may know that I have been buying lots of Charlotte Tilbury and I've actually been trying lots of different products ahead of my wedding day because I'm going to do my own makeup I love their beautiful skin foundation I love the blusher liquid blusher thing I've got that on today it needs a little bit of extra blending but never mind I actually bought another one this is part of the Disney 100 range actually and it's the beauty light wand in pink it looks like so it's amazing i really have enjoyed a liquid blush i was always a powder blush gal before but this stays on and looks so beautiful so this is a slightly different color for my wedding day like a softer pink and then i also bought this palette it's recently been released for the holiday season for christmas time and the packaging is incredible this is their beauty verse palette and I really want a shimmery, sparkly eye. So I wanted a palette that had some like nice glitters. I really have enjoyed this one and this one together. That's what I've got on my eyes today. But as you can see, it's like a beautiful shimmery palette. I'm not like 100% in love with it. I'm practicing, I'm learning, I'm trying, I'm figuring it out. Speaking of beauty, I thought I'd also show you my wedding day perfume. I already showed this in a home vlog recently, but some of you may know that I bought the Potions and Remedies Discovery Set from Penhaligons in Selfridges and I've been trying lots of their different sort of sample sizes. This was still quite expensive but it meant that I got to try a lot of their different ones and the one I ended up falling in love with, it's going to be my wedding day fragrance, is the Balm of Calm. It's in this incredible packaging. I mean look how luxe and fun this is for my wedding day. So I'm going to save it, open it up on my actual wedding day it smells so luxury. I've tried it a few times since just to double check I love it. And every time I've worn it or spritzed it, I walked past it in Selfridges the other day with my friend Charlie and I was like, you've got to smell my wedding fragrance. Put it on and I was like, I could smell it on me all day. Penhaligons is a very expensive luxury high-end fragrance company, but we bought Benji's for like half the price of mine in Bista. And he has got this one, which I don't know how you pronounce this. Um, endo something, endimes, endymion? I'm not sure. Very sexy, strong, incredible. So now we both have one. They didn't have boxes, unfortunately, in Bista. We're gonna have to try and wrap this up for him, but we both get a special fragrance for the day, which I'm really excited about. My mum bought me this necklace for my birthday, I think, from H. Samuel, and I absolutely love it. And I knew straight away that it was the one I wanted to wear for my wedding day. It's a really beautiful, simple little circle stud thing with sparkles i love it i'll leave it linked if they still have it but they didn't have matching earrings that i liked so i ended up finding these from shirosky they are super similar not exact matches but i absolutely love them i got these in the sale too and i'm saving them for my wedding day what's really special is my mum actually has the same necklace she also has a couple of the same bracelets on her wrist at all times as well so we have matching necklaces and yeah i just love it so that's going to be my wedding day necklace and earrings the last thing i got is actually kept in this little box that i bought some macarons from ladderayan i mean look at this it's a little carriage i thought this was such a nice little box to keep for special things like this but in here we have our wedding rings which i'm not going to show you we're going to keep those to ourselves but they are from cara jewelers which is where my engagement ring is from as well they have a shop in the burlington arcade and so yeah we have wedding bands for us both obviously and then the only thing i wanted to get was just some way to display them I don't think we're actually going to be taking this to the ceremony but I wanted to do a couple of like flat lay pictures and have the rings in this box before the actual day and just like sitting on the side so I was hunting around and I found this again on Etsy Etsy is incredible for not only supporting small businesses but they have so many unique personalized items i hope you can see this it's got our name our wedding date it's a clear box but it's a magnet and then inside it's got two little hearts where you can hang the rings on and they sit so nicely and then it just closes back and you can actually pick what you want the text the font the shape everything it was completely customizable and i just thought that was so pretty i do wish that the wood was more like a soft kind of creamy color like we could paint it but it is what it is. With both our rings in there as well, it's so cute. So yeah, that 
is that. I have got so many bridal items around me now and I'm so excited seeing it all. I can't wait for it to all come together but I'm also really just enjoying these final months in the lead up to the actual day because I know it's going to come around so fast. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing everything I've been buying. If you see anything else that you think I might like or enjoy for the day you can leave it in a comment or DM me on Instagram and let me know if you buy anything from Domatica too. Again I'll leave their links below with all the details and discounts and UK and US links and thank you so much for watching and following and supporting along the video with more details about what we're up to will be linked and I'll leave our playlist which has our engagement video and talking about getting the ring together so I've been doing a bit of a series and sharing everything um if you want to go and watch any of our other wedding videos but for now thank you again to Domatica for sponsoring thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next ones bye <laughs>